Hey guys, Cassius here, back with another typical YouTube intro, and happy Friday. You can call me Mr. Never Miss a Day, because I haven't missed a single file found since I launched this series, and I don't plan on missing a single one, hopefully. We're going strong, and we're gonna keep going strong. Now, I actually have some news to talk about this week. Not big news, not big news, not big news, not huge news, but news nonetheless. On the chopping block today, THQ gets resurrected from the dead, No Man's Sky is okay, and more Pokemon news. And I might actually get to the Pokemon news this time. Starting off, breaking this morning, Nordic Games is now THQ Nordic, and thus is the rebirth of THQ. Now with this rebirth comes a dearth of games, a lot of them, 26 of them to be exact. Some old and some new THQ IPs. And that's fantastic news, more games are gonna get made and the once defunct THQ is back. And hopefully it's learned. Hopefully it's learned more than one valuable lesson over the past. Man, when did THQ go out of business? Four years? Was it 2012? Feels like it was just yesterday. I feel like... It feels like it was just yesterday, and I also feel like it was 20 years ago. But yeah, THQ is back. And hopefully they've learned. Hopefully they don't go overboard. Hopefully don't they don't bite more than they can chew. And I think they have. I think they're gonna learn. I think they're gonna... Things are gonna go smoother this time. They have years of years of, uh, of mishaps to teach them a lesson, and well, sometimes that works out and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, Sega is still making the same mistakes over and over and over again, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Moving on from THQ, however, as you might have noticed, the game in the background is No Man's Sky. I've been playing it, I've played, I don't know, I think I've played maybe 15 hours since launch, since Tuesday. That sounds right, I played all night when it came out, and I played out throughout the week. So about 12-15 hours, and the game is okay. The game isn't awful. It's not bad. It's an it's an okay game. If I had to, if I worked for a big publisher that did review scores and I had to put a hard number on it, it would be a hard middling, hard 6. It would be a hard 6. It would be 6, 6, whatever, 6 point something, you know. 6 point good. Because the game is essentially Destiny without the the combat, and Minecraft without the color and fun of Minecraft, of building stuff. You know, you can't build in this game yet, and all, the base, this game is just Discovery, and if you like Discovery, then No Man's Sky is definitely for you. That's, that's why I like it, that's why I enjoy it so much. I just have fun wandering around, like uh, yesterday I found a purple nebula that I named Purple Rain because the entire sky is just purple. There are five planets in it, and the first planet I found was an Earth-like planet. It had water and land, it was nice, I named it Earthsea. And I'm just gonna be in this this nebula, this solar system for maybe 10, 15 hours. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave. It's too good. It's too perfect. I found the perfect system. I'm just gonna stay there. I'm just gonna stay there forever because that's what this game was about. Me being a, an explorer, being a discoverer, and I, I discovered. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna reshape these worlds. I'm gonna mine and dig and do all the cool stuff. And there isn't really a lot of cool stuff to do in this game as of yet. And the inventory management is horrendous. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. The game has a lot of problems, and a couple of them are game-breaking. And I haven't run into any game-breaking bugs yet, and I'm afraid. I am afraid that I will. And I want to review the game, but I don't think I will until I find a black hole, which I haven't yet. I probably won't for another 10, 15 hours. And that's fine, because I like flying around. I like just finding really cool things. I found a cave, and I know that sounds really boring and lame, but the cave was filled with plants. <laughs> I sound so silly. It sounds so silly, but it's just fun. It's one of those games that you have to play to get. It's one of those games that you have to play to get. And $60, is as, is, is, as, as the game is right now, $60 is a lot. You know that you can't even you can't even change your options on the PS4. You can't change your control options, which is mind-boggling. Why is why is run toggle to to L to to the the right stick down? That's just so silly. But I'm still having fun with the game. It's still enjoyable. It just has a lot of problems. Problems that I can't overlook. Problems that I will overlook as as a person enjoying the game. But problems that I can't you know. I can't omit from telling someone, hey, I'm having fun with this game, but this is the kind of game that I like. You might not enjoy this game very much. You know, if you, if you don't enjoy discovery, if you don't enjoy lame, mundane things like numbers and mining and, and galactic trade and 
being being in favor with with alien races that's the game probably isn't for you and the, the being in favor with alien races is not as deep as say something like mass effect so we'll see this game can be something amazing though i know that this game can be something amazing and i know that it eventually will get to the point minecraft is now because if you remember when minecraft started it wasn't all that super fantastic super phenomenon you know that that expanded with update after update after update but this is a 60 dollar game the, the bar the barrier to entry is 60 dollars for a okay game for a mid for a six so you know the game is definitely for certain people i'm definitely one of them but it might not be for everyone it definitely isn't for everyone and if you're on the fence i would say wait i would say wait wait for a couple updates wait for the game to either get a game of the year edition get go down in price a little bit you know if it goes down to 40 then i'll say jump on jump on the wagon and if you're playing on ps4 especially if you're playing on PS4, I would definitely wait because they have a lot of things to fix. And with the way CERT works, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a long time. They can't just push out updates like they would on the PC version. And there's not even an FOV slider on the PS4 version for crying out loud. But I'm, that's neither here nor there. And also, I lied to you earlier. We're going on 8 minutes now, so I won't be talking about Pokemon today. Sorry. There's an Alolan Raichu. He surfs on his tail. It's pretty cool. And that's it. A lot of, there's, they show a lot more Pokemon, a lot more Alolan forms, a lot of Alolan Meowth and Marowak are pretty cool. The one's a Meowth Dark type and Marowak is Ghost Fire, he's Fire Dancer. And that's, that's the extent of the Pokemon I'm going to talk about today because I forgot again. Sorry, I went on too long about No Man's Sky. But anyway, that's it. Another week in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you have No Man's Sky, what do you think about it? Are you having fun? Are you enjoying yourself? I know that this game was never going to be the second coming of video games like people were touting it to be, but I'm having fun. It's not, you know, amazing 10 out of 10 IGN, but it's alright. But that's it for me. Enjoy your weekends, everyone. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day.